Thank you very much. All right, so this, this new fingerprint reader is going to be introduced to decrease bank fraud. That's what we are, um, that's, a, that's really the main aim. How, how, how good are they? How accurate are they? Um, like, uh, fingerprint systems are, are, are very unique. So, uh, no fingerprints uh, on any path of mankind has been the same. So, um, what we want to do is, uh, this will equate around to 30 billion to 1.5 trillion. Uh, people, so uh, it will avoid like uh, all those frauds that currently happening in South Africa. So the only thing uh, to get around with this is only uh, if a person can drag you into an ATM and force you to to put your finger on the on the terminal, which is a reality. Which is reality. Yes. Yeah, which that's is that's reality. A, it's a problem. Yes. I mean, has this been factored into the equation that it's it's so easy to do that unfortunately we do live in a country where yes, somebody yes. can just put a gun to your yes. head take you to the atm put your finger and your money's gone yes yes so yes. well how do we get around that i mean does it work in this country to go that route do you think um accordingly to their systems um and the need of this country yes we do need uh, the kind of system uh, that we're going to introduce uh, it's called uh, the Biz easy multispectral sensor so uh, this sensor, it's uh, a read beneath your skin. It's not like uh, the old type sensor, the one that uh, was just reading only a fingerprint. So yes, they should be, they should be okay. What, what makes it more secure? Um, instead of using a card and a pin, yes. uh, using a fingerprint, why, why is it necessarily a better route to go? Okay, a better route, uh, um, what I can say is that uh, when we're introducing this system, uh, a scale will be also fitted uh, in the ATM. So uh, the only thing that will be different is that uh, if uh, the weight is it differ drastically from what's on the database, so no transaction will be will be made. Mm. No transaction. Yes. So it's it's very it's very much secure. Okay. So. Yeah. Let's, let's look at it this way. So in terms of fingerprints, you're I mean, we all know, very unique. Everybody has uh, their own fingerprint. It yes. can't be copied. Yes. Um, so it's difficult, in other words, what you're saying is somebody can get your PIN and access your bank accounts, yes. but they can't get your fingerprint unless they physically have you. Is, it any, is there any way of copying it? Is there any way of, of hacking into the system? No, um, you look to to tell you the truth, uh, the fingerprint will be stored in a centralized server. So uh, with the uh, metamatic algorithm. So uh, what will happen is that uh, even if uh, the hacker can hack into the server, but he won't get into the fingerprints because they will be stored in a metamatic algorithm. So what's, what's going to happen is that um, even if uh, uh, your fingerprints, the, the, like the, sen the multispectral sensor just reads beneath your skin. So mm -hmm. the old type sensor, you will copy. Uh, it was possible in older to to copy the fingerprints. Yeah. Yes, it um, was possible. What are the advantages of biometric ATMs? Are, are they being used elsewhere in the world? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, y you know, cards, passwords, and PIN codes uh, can be easily be obtained by a thief overlooking a transaction. So uh, in South Africa, currently, we don't, we don't have something like this. That's why we're introducing uh, the Peace Easy Multispectral Sensor. So um, it's 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 something that's that's going to work for us. Yeah. yeah. Do you, to to initiate it, do you have to go into the bank? Obviously, the bank then uh, pulls up a profile of you yes, uh, as yes, an account holder. Yes. You have to give your fingerprint, and then all your details will come up. Yes. Yes. And all the details will come up, and then also, as I've mentioned before, uh, with that scale, it will it will also when you're putting in your your thumb on the terminal, it will also. Uh, pick up your weight. So as as I've said, if if it differ drastically, yeah. So no no transactions will be done. So you better not put on weight. Uh, you obviously have to go <laughs> into the bank. Yeah, yeah. You, you have, have to, to update it. You have yeah, to update, have to update the regularly. database. But uh, but obviously when it differ drastically, that's where it will it will pick up something. And just I know they're shouting at me to wrap, but just one more question. What happens if you're drawing from another bank? Say I bank with F and B, but I want to draw out of an uh, uh, an APSA ATM. What happens then? Okay, that's why I've said uh, the, the 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 fingerprint algorithms will be kept in a centralized server, so all the banks connect to this uh, system. Okay. Yes. Good. Very very interesting. How far away are we? Uh, we're going to launch uh, this multi busy, this busy easy multi spectral sensor on March this this year, 2014. This year, March. Yes. All this right. year, March. Well, there you have it. So now you go. ATMs are now going to be used with fingerprint sensors.
There was uh, Sibusiso Matub uh, Matubula talking to us about the advantages and disadvantages on how the fingerprint automatic machines that are scheduled to hit South Africa in the near future, as in March, will work. It is said that these are uh, uh, to be updated to improve the customer experience. Unlike pins, criminals will have great difficulty in uh, faking a fingerprint to access someone's bank account. So there you have it. We'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this system?